Three things that intimidate me. Number one, ghost peppers. Number two, the ocean at nighttime. And number three, having to meet new people for the first time. And if you're like me, I cannot help you with the first two, but for the third one, meeting new people for the first time, I've created a clever little strategy to help me not only start the conversation, but also build a connection with someone that I'm meeting for the first time. And in this video, I'll share my easy to remember strategy called the cat's eye framework for starting conversation with strangers. You know, because cats are so great at making friends. Let's get into it. Two Princeton psychologists, Janine Willis and Alexander Todorov, found through their research that it takes only 0.1 seconds, that's a tenth of a second, to form a first impression with a stranger. That's faster than my decision to hit that snooze button in the morning. And trust me, that's lightning fast. <laughs> Couple that with the fact that up to 12% of the US population suffers from SAD, which is social anxiety disorder. And 29% of people report being nervous about not knowing what to say or how to interact when they meet new people, according to the study done by Forbes Health. And couple that with the general sense of just feeling awkward when we're meeting new people and starting conversations. That's just a shared experience we all feel particularly among introverts. That's why having a plan for starting the conversation is critical to your success. You are 100% right. This way, you don't get flooded with the emotions in the moment or freeze up. That's why you need cat's eye. And no, I'm not talking about some new breed of cat designed to be exceptionally sociable. That's impossible. Though, I definitely sign up for that Kickstarter. The C stands for compliment. Begin with a genuine compliment. It can be about their attire, their visual accessories, a unique hairstyle or hair color, something they're holding, a tattoo, or even their energy. This isn't about flattery, it's about noticing something noteworthy and then letting them know about it. Just make sure your compliment isn't, nice shoes, do you want to be friends? That's not a compliment, it's a cry for help. Genuine compliments are rare nowadays, so when people hear them, it tends to cause a pattern interrupt and the person will look up from their phone and actually pay attention. Just in time for us to move on to the A. The A in cat's eye stands for ask a question. Now that you have their attention, we need to hold on to it by getting them to talk a little bit more. The easiest way to do this is to pick a question that's easy to answer. Don't ask them about the first time they cried. <laughs> Instead, focus on questions like, is this your first time at this event? Did you have to travel far to get here? It's also very natural to follow up on the compliment that you just gave them. Oh, I love the stickers on your computer bag. Where did you get them from? Do you collect stickers? Avoid yes and no questions. They tend to end conversations conversations faster than my cat decides I'm not worth waking up for. Now that you've opened the door to the conversation, it's time to move on to the next step, which is T. That's not for time out. T stands for talking more. We want to keep that conversation going, but now you can also share about yourself. The goal here is to go back and forth. You talk, then they talk, then you talk, then they talk. But remember what Dale Carnegie once said in his famous book, How to Win Friends and Influence people, you'll make a thousand times more friends by being interested than interesting. You have two ears and one mouth, use them in proportion. I got no ears. So if you asked about the event, keep expanding on those responses or your initial compliment. Ask what drew them into this event and if it's their first time being at the conference. If you compliment about their jacket. Nice jacket. Ask about their fashion sense and where they shop. Now that the conversation is in full swing, it's time to move on to the S. The S stands for similarities. Based on the conversation, identify a point of connection. Maybe you've attended similar events, shared a hobby, dislike the same things. 
No way, I'm also a huge fan of shopping at the Renaissance Fair for my clothes. Have you been to the one downtown with a huge turkey leg? Now that you've established some shared interests and connections, it's time to move on to the last part, which is the I. The I stands for introducing yourself. Yes, I know it sounds backwards, but introducing yourself after establishing rapport is more memorable. Oh, by the way, my name's Tom. I'm actually gonna be the one on stage a little bit later doing this silly icebreaker and talking about dance floors. And there you have it, friends, the full cat's eye framework. Let me run through an example of the whole process all at once so you get an idea. Do, 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 do. It's time to initiate Operation Cat's Eye. Hey, that's a great book you have there. I don't know too many people that have poor Charlie's Almanac, let alone carry it around. Compliment. Oh yeah, I saw a YouTube video on it and I decided to buy it. That's great. Is this your first time coming to this meetup? Ask a question. Oh yeah, I've never been here before. I was at a coffee shop and someone told me about it. Nice. Well, if you love that book, this meetup's gonna be right up your alley. Have you actually started reading the book? Talking more. Oh yeah, I started reading it. I really love investing. I'm also really into day trading, the stock market, Warren Buffett, and even Dogecoin. Oh, I love investing and I've dabbled a bit in cryptocurrency. You gotta tell me more about what that's like. Similarities. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, by the way, my name's Tom. I'm actually gonna be the host for this meetup, so you're gonna see me a little bit later on stage. Nice to meet you, what's your name? Introduce yourself. And scene. And there you have it. If you followed the cat's eye correctly, congratulations, you are now officially more social than any cat has ever been. Take that, Whiskers. The cat's eye framework isn't just about starting conversations, it's about creating meaningful connections beyond that initial encounter. It turns that daunting task of meeting new people Hi, Tom. into an opportunity for genuine connection and mutual discovery. So, before we go, here's a super quick recap of what cat's eye stands for. The C stands for compliment. Kick things off with a genuine compliment to catch their interest and make a positive first impression. A stands for ask a question. Engage them further by inquiring about something relevant to the setting you're in or about your initial compliment. The T stands for talking more. Dive deeper into the conversation based on their responses or to start building rapport. S stands for similarities. Find common ground to create that connection between the two of you and make the interaction more personal and memorable. And then the I stands for introducing yourself. After you've established that connection, introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Tom. Hi, my name's Tom. Hi, my name's Tom. This sequence makes your introduction more impactful and more memorable. Next time you're at an event, staring in a room filled with brand new people you've never met before or potential new connections, channel your inner cat with cat's eye. At the end of that event, you might have more friends than you can count on one paw. Give it a try and turn those intimidating first meetings into memorable connections. After all, if a cat can make friends, so can you. And if you like this video, I highly recommend you subscribe to all of our videos because we continue to help leaders like you to better engage their people. Speaking of which, my name is Tom. I was named after a cat and I'm here to help you to engage the people on your dance floor. I'll see you in the next video. This was a lot of fun.